Next, actually, we're going to talk about the Zen next. So, this is the Zen Magnum Ti. Okay, this is a limited edition Zen Assist device. It takes an 18490 battery or an 18500 battery. Uh, just to show you real quick, that's that drip tip I was talking about from Vape Syndicate. It's a titanium drip tip that he made there. So, um, the deal with this guy, it is uh, when available, which I'm not sure if they're going to be available again, what the situation is, but when available, uh, you can get them at electronicsticks.com. Hey, Naughty, how are you? Um, the, like I said, the availability is very limited. It's a limited edition device. Um, it costs $590. That's the retail price on this guy. So, um, it is not a inexpensive device. Um, it is very, very pricey. Um, all of the titanium Zens are in that um, high 500s, around $600 price range. So, love to scratch. Thanks for coming by the show. Hope you enjoyed it so far, other than the technical difficulties. So, um, Zen TI Magnum. Uh, this is TI number 30. He does a number of the, the titanium ones. Um, which you know some people are, are into the numbered devices um, I, I, I enjoy having something with a serial number but uh, yeah no scarecrow it's not cheap so the like I said it's 18500 it's got a 5 milliliter fuse course uh, juice tank just like the uh, the iHybrid does um, you know similar type of setup it has the uh, no screw top, the adjustable throat hit. Um, diameter on it is 0.875 inches, and it is uh, when screwed down all the way. Uh, oh, I'll send it to you again, Velvet Cat. You'll see it in chat. It'll come across in chat. Uh, that word that I just PM to you is the coupon code. Coupon code. So. Um, it's 5.45 inches tall. Um, it is aerospace grade titanium. Um, I don't, I, I don't know what that means. I'm not a metallurgist, so, uh, I know it's very high quality titanium. Uh, it's completely mechanical. There's no solder, flux, uh, or wire through the entire device. So, um... What does it come with? It comes with, obviously, with the device. It also comes with um, some extra washers. It comes with uh, this little baggie here, which has the uh, syringe tip. Um, I know, it's American Made Pack. Inches. Crazy. And I'm so used to talking metric, because everything I use is metric, pretty much. But... Um, so, washers, it's got an insulator, uh, we'll talk about the insulator in a little bit. Also comes obviously with the fill syringe uh, that this little tip is for. And you also get the Zen pre-made wicks. Um, you get five of each, 316 stainless steel in 400 mesh and 325 mesh pre-oxidized, ready to go. So, um, comes with some cool stuff. Comes with a little goodie bag. Everything you need. Um, and, um, it also comes actually with the, uh, the Allen key that you need to, uh, unscrew and tighten the screws underneath the top cap. Um, I already mentioned the materials used. The exterior design, I think it's a very nice, clean looking device. Um, it's got very simple lines. It's got a really nice finish on it. I like the look of titanium. Um, I know some people don't like that kind of matte um, 
kind of faded look of titanium. I think it looks kind of cool. Um, as you can see, it's got the Zen logo on the front there. Um, and then the the way the bottom cap uh, or the switch works on it is it's actually not uh, a locking switch. Yeah, right. I hope so for five ninety nine too. Um, the switch on it is uh, basically just a stiff um, bottom firing button. You can put it down. It's not going to fire under its own weight. You can put it in your pocket. It's not going to fire. It's stiff enough that it won't fire on its own um, and doesn't require a lock switch. I'm going to take a vape on it. No, that's not a locking ring pack. It's just the um, it's just the knurling around the um, just above there. Now, the the reason it looks like there's a locking ring, I'll explain um, here in a sec. Actually, I'll talk about it right now. So this is actually one of the things that I didn't like about this device. Um, as you can see, there is this knurl ring, this knurled ring right here. See that gap between the tube and the knurled ring? Yeah that's just how it is when you screw it down with a button top battery um, you know it supposedly is made for um, an 18490 um, AMR uh, AW IMR rather sorry uh, battery and that's what I have in here and it doesn't screw down all the way uh, with an AW IMR battery so that was a little disappointing um, just because I do like the device to have a nice clean look with no gaps um, and and this one this does not have that uh, and I actually put a flat top battery in it and it still had a small gap on the bottom so yeah but you know what are you gonna do yeah I know exactly I was a little sad about that myself so um, The internals. So, um, brass connections, you know, the switch is pretty standard. Uh, it's brass with an insulator around it. You press the switch and then the brass comes in contact with the base of the battery. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to embarrass Zen. Um, it is a single, the body and the tube are a single piece of metal, which is actually uh, pretty cool. Um, so it is a true hybrid. Um, some people say that if it, you know, you can unscrew the top from the bottom, it's not a true hybrid. I personally don't, uh, you know, I mean, who, who's, who's defining this stuff anyway? I don't know. But, um, and then there's brass connection on the opposite end inside as well. Put that battery back in. Yes, uh, $600, Pega, not 500 590 retail. So, um, under the cap, it's pretty straightforward, um, you know, standard design, it's got single wick hole, as you can see, and it's got the, um, negative screw, positive screw, and then a fill hole there as well. Um, I have done something that uh, this is not designed to do necessarily. Um, I took out the insulator, and uh, I, because I like to, uh, I like to use a, a fatter wick when possible. Um, you know, it, if you ask Zen, he would be upset, um, and if he sees this video, he'll probably be upset that I did that. I apologize, Mr. Zen, um, but I do enjoy using a. a fatter wick on my devices when possible so I took the insulator out. It's a safety feature, it prevents um, shorting, uh, it is a nice feature, it allows you to use, you know, it makes it a lot easier to make an unoxidized wick uh, because you don't have shorts inside the um, wick hole, but um, I just, like I said, I prefer to use a larger wick, so yeah, and I know some people have had issues with the the insulators melting too. So uh, I um, I just took it out. Now 
Um, I will say this, the top cap, this is something that I've had issues with with previous Zen Assist devices. Uh, that is most certainly not an issue with this one. It's super snug. There's a, nice, there's a groove in the top cap, um, and you can actually hear, you can hear it pop into place. Hold on, you'll hear, I'll put it next to... You hear it snap in there. It was kind of a double snap as I didn't push it down straight, but uh, it snaps into place and it stays very snug on there. And then you can twist the top to adjust the throat hit uh, if you want to adjust the throat hit. I typically just leave it lined up with the wick, though. Um, the quality of the vape is good. Um, it's a little, it's a little airy for my taste, um, but you know, if you ask Zen. Um, then if you, you know, don't want it to be as airy, don't draw as hard on it, you know. Pull a little softer on it and uh, you'll get a little more flavor and a little less vapor on the draw. So, uh, here, I'm going to take a vape. So as you can see, the flavor or the vapor production is good. You probably can't see the flavor. Uh, if you can, then um, you are probably a superhero, and I'm really excited that you're watching my show. That's awesome. But uh, the the flavor is good. Uh, it's not phenomenal, but it's good. Um, clean, uh, pretty warm. Not as warm as I like it. But, um, you know, that's a personal preference thing. Um, a lot of people prefer a cooler, airier uh, vape, and, and they'll get that from this. It's just not my personal preference. So, um, so yeah, the vape quality is good. Not my personal favorite. That's okay. Um, you know, uh, like I said before, I have the utmost respect for mod makers. Um, but... Uh, you know, and Zen's been doing this a long time. The guy knows what he's doing. However, uh, I will say that I am disappointed with this little gap situation here. If you're paying $600 for a device, um, not only should the machine quality be really high, uh, which externally it is, um, but, you know, I mean, everything should be fitted properly as well. I know that there's going to be some variance in the in the batteries, but I'm using the type of battery that's recommended to use with it, and it doesn't fit properly. So, um, one other thing that I am going to complain about, um, just because um, I, I feel that I should say it, because, you know, I want this review to be honest. Um, when I first got the device, the threading on it was like trying to thread... Um, it, it, it was like the threads were covered in a piece of sandpaper. Um, very, very rough, rough threading. Um, you know, and you can put no alax on there, you can put no oxid on there to smooth them out, whatever, but, you know, when you're paying, like I said, when you're paying $600 for a device, you, you expect that to be, you know, and I expect the threads to be buffed out. When I got this device... I actually had to clean out shavings, metal shavings, from the threads on here. Um, and, and down in the bottom part of the thread, I actually had to pull a piece of metal shaving off of the threading that was maybe two inches long, um, which was disappointing. But, um, you know, over time from unscrewing it and screwing it back in, it has actually smoothed out, so... Um, I, uh, I don't know, but, um, overall, I think it vapes really well, uh, you know, the materials used are extremely high quality, uh, which I think is why the price tag is so high, because of the cost of the materials and what's involved in machining, um, you know, air, aerospace grade, uh, titanium, but, um, <laughs> I'm going to sell mine too, man. So I'm just being honest, you know. Um, it does, it's not, I mean, it's not like it's a piece of crap device. It's, you know, I mean, it, the machining on it, other than the issue I have with the bottom cap and the threading there, everything else, like the finish on it is beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous finish. Uh, and it vapes like a Zen. If you like the way that a Zen Assist device vapes, it vapes like a Zen Assist device. Uh, I will say that it hits harder than some of the other Zen devices that I've used, um, like the, you know, like some of the ones, that, and I know he had some issues with the, the BAM and the, 
um, the sidewinder and the cobalt because of the anodizing and not getting proper connection, whatever. Even the fixed versions of those, I don't think hit as hard as this device. This hits pretty, it hits pretty hard. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. He, he, Zen might be off my, or I might be off Zen's Christmas card list pack. I don't know. Um, you know, like I said, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna throw the guy under the bus. I just will say that I am a little. I'm disappointed in a couple of the the issues that I've had with it. So, um, sorry, Zen. I'm gonna take another vape though. So yeah, um, yeah. It vapes like a Zen. Um, it's a little bit airy flavor is decent it you know uh, uh, if you've used a Zen standard the vape is very similar um, what you're paying for uh, the extra here is the material and the and the limited edition nature of this device so uh, and the fact that it is more difficult and more expensive to produce so that's it so yeah that's the Zen TI um, do I like it yeah I think it's a good hybrid uh, you know it feels really solid um, it's not too bulky. Um, it's got a really good juice capacity. Just a couple things that I've mentioned already that kind of irked me about it, given the price tag. So it is what it is. So there you have it. That's the Zen uh, Magnum Ti, not to be confused with the show starring Tom Selleck.